Alrighty, it's six o'clock in the morning on Saturday, Jan January 28th, and I'm just finishing my day. I'm pretty sure there are people out there who are just getting up now or have been up for a while. These are the early birds, and as for myself, we're on a rotation schedule. <laughs> well, not by choice anyways. Uh, my sleep always uh, flips around every now and again. Uh, sometimes I sleep earlier, sometimes I sleep later. It is what it is. Anyways, I had a pretty productive day. I got uh, the my first Linux show out, the first episode of the Linux show out. Uh, I'm working on um, a, show, a show called uh, Cyborgs and Cybernetics. That first episode should be out tomorrow. I should put out, uh, I'm aiming to put out two comments tomorrow. Uh, not tomorrow. <laughs> My mind is still thinking that tomorrow is after I wake up, but tomorrow is actually today. So in a few hours when I get up, uh, I will be, uh, I'm planning to do uh, two comments, uh, two or three comments I want to put out. And I'm aiming to do uh, the first in the, uh, the uh, Omega, Omega, uh, construct uh, videos. I want to put well, well, the, f the first one of that out, sort of uh, giving a brief outline of, of what's going to happen in the EMA construct. It's turned out to be a, a much larger project that I had that I had initially uh, anticipated. So it is taking me a fair bit of time to go through everything and get all my notes in order. As for that, uh, I, while I do my studying and reading, I typically have on uh, the, uh, it's either Disney or Nick, and in Canada it's also, uh, uh, what is it, it's a Family Channel, there's Teletoon, and there's uh, YTV. And basically, I'm watching most of the kids' shows. I've been kind of banned uh, from watching with my with my family and anyone who I hang out with sometimes uh, from watching any of the adult shows for uh, for older people. Uh, they in initially uh, comment on how I should watch. I should have been watching the adult shows because you know they're more uh, mature than the uh, than the kids' shows are. But then I sit there, and I'm the type of person that uh, I can sort of pick out the flaws in the show. In addition to uh, when things are scientifically incorrect, that's an easy one for me to do. Uh, and I sit there and pick out all the flaws as part of uh, my social interaction, which doesn't really go over too well. And before you know it, no more TV for me. So, <laughs> no more adult shows for me. Typically, my shows that I watch are the kids' shows. Uh, they're interesting. Uh, if you want to sort of relax and sort of just, you know, have some fun, then that's that. those are the shows that I like watching. I also I ended up follow, following them uh, on the Internet. And from there, you can go out onto some of the different uh, the YouTube channels that some of the kids have. And their stuff is pretty interesting. It's interesting to see how, uh, you know, a kid can take a webcam and start putting their opinions out there. Uh, one of the uh, w ones that I followed uh, that uh, Beyond the Nerds RL that I've started watching more on a regular basis is one called uh, Right and Proper Ladies. It seemed to have been started by a group of girls in um, in in England in the United Kingdom, 
and they have added two more people, uh, I think two or three more people uh, in the United States and Canada. And I think there's also one person in Australia. It is, uh, I find it really, uh, pretty interesting. I, I like sort of seeing uh, somebody else's uh, uh, life type of, type of thing. Seeing how they live, seeing what they think about, seeing, you know, what they feel. And these uh, these girls are quite they're, they're, the way, particularly the British, the way they the way they speak. They have a whole sense of vocabulary that most other people don't. They rarely ever uh, swear in there in terms of. And I, sh I shouldn't use the term swear because swear and cursing really aren't the proper terms for uh, the um, the words that most people don't like to hear. Um, those words would we call graphic words or they're, uh, I call them verbal punctuation. They're a way of um, emphasizing something or a feeling uh, where... It, it, yeah, you know, emphasizing a feeling or you know or, or a thought, where verbally you can't use punctuation uh, to sort of highlight or emphasize these this, these graphic words are used in that sense. But in many cases, when I watch people who use graphic terms, their use of it. <laughs> In itself is quite poor because they repeat the same thing over and over again. So it's not that they're that they're cleverly using the world, the these words. Is that there? There's nothing else to be said. So this these words take the place of anything to be said. So this is the, you know this is these are some of the, the some of the fun stuff I see as as you know I'm doing my work I'm doing my reading. Uh, uh, I've got tabs in my browser, browser so you can, uh, every once in a while, uh, go and f look at different things or while you're reading. So you have one screen up that does reading and another screen that does the uh, the YouTube. Uh, well, you're sort of uh, what I call it, uh, strolling around YouTube and seeing what's out there. Uh, I've found that... Uh, by comparison, that uh, I like uh, the girls seem to be um, how should I put this? Whenever you're on a guy's site, or into, you start getting into uh, hearing a guy's opinion. There's always descriptions of girls and how they treat other girls. In, and this is sort of what I sort of pointed out on on, on, a, on, a, on an Asian girl's page. Uh, she's Hmong, and she's talking about why her parents are so concerned with the guys that she goes out with and, and not being uh, allowed out a lot. And a lot of these, uh, the immigrant cultures, including the culture that I came from, uh, the men are expected to be men, but not with... Uh, daughters within the community. Uh, what they do is they have this term, which is not nice, it's sort of, if you will, a reverse racism. We've always been told, and this is primarily for both boys and girls, but it's more stress for girls than it is for, for boys, that you're not to go out with people who aren't of the same cultural background as you are and particularly what they're, what they're getting at is they don't want you going out with particularly what they consider to be white people and their view is that white people don't have the same family values that people from the immigrant cultures do have uh, and the end, uh, the end result in this is that the guys treat girls who are not of this cultural background as the 
men being men and, and these are their disposable girls. They're not the girls that they're going to marry at all. These are the girls that they're going to sort of fool around with, that they're going to play with, and then at the end of the day, they're going to discard. So these are disposable girls. And I find that uh, invariably when you go on to a lot of the guys' uh, YouTube site, they're speaking of girls in this sort of disposable fashion where if you go on to the girls YouTube site more often than not you're not going to see this or should I say hear this so my preference is uh, because I don't like treating people anyone as disposable uh, my preference is to say primarily on the girls site I do go and check the guys sites out every once in a while but it's it is not nowhere near uh, in terms of the um, interest or the fun or, or or the you know but that that you would find on a girl's page. But again, it, it, even my my choice of the of the pages there, uh, I prefer the more quirky girls, the ones who have uh, what they call. Uh, people will call them bizarre, um, bizarre behaviors, or you know, their outlook is what we consider weird or nerdy, or they're not what you would consider your standard beauty queens. So there's no that it that oh this this girl is oh she's hot and I'm going to subscribe to her page. Uh, that's not the case at all. It's the ones that I really enjoy are the ones that. Um, where it, it, for me it's sort of there's it, it's I'd call it cute where the there's a mixture of looks and personality but the personality is the main thing and it has to be that the person has to have uh, what I consider to be an interesting personality and this is sort of what I go for uh, this is where I also find the entertainment to be the best as well so that's sort of the, the fun that I have. Again, it's, 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 a, it's a very uh, nerdy type of thing, a very geeky type of thing. But then, you know, yeah, I'm a geek, I'm a nerd. What are you going to do? Anyway, um, this is running a little long again. So, But anyways, I'll, t I'll, t I'll talk to you a little bit later on during the day.